Electricity is a phenomenal form of energy, and it's perfectly safe when used correctly. But when it comes into contact with conductive material, electricity travels at lightning speed. Water, metal, or even your body can be a conductor if you were to come into contact with a bare or damaged wire or unprotected equipment. Electricity will always be faster than you. That's why you need to avoid situations where you might come into contact with electricity. An electric shock can cause tickling or tingling, muscle spasms, serious burns, or even a heart attack. Why are there so many variations? Whenever you're in a dangerous situation involving electricity, four shock factors immediately come into play. Voltage, resistance, path, and duration. Voltage is the difference in electrical potential between the ground and a wire or other conductive material. Distribution line voltage can vary from 12,000 to 34,500 volts, which is enough power to cause a severe injury. Your body's resistance to electricity can vary depending whether your skin is damp or dry. How the electricity flows through your body will have a major impact on the degree of electrical shock. There's a far bigger risk of internal injury when the current travels through your heart as opposed to just jumping from finger to finger. Contact can last for just a few milliseconds or more than a second, but even a few milliseconds is enough to injure you. The severity of the electric shock is determined by the combination of the various shock factors. It's impossible to predict exactly what the outcome will be before the accident, and it all happens in a flash. Electricity will always be faster than you. There's no such thing as a safe shock where electricity is concerned. But there's an easy way to prevent accidents. Avoid dangerous situations. Paul's story. Danger near power lines. Paul thinks there's too much shade in his backyard. He'll fix that. It won't take long. Paul didn't spot the danger before starting work. As it fell, the branch came into contact with a medium voltage line. This type of wire is bare. It doesn't have an insulating sheath. Let's see what our shock factors say. The voltage level is medium, and the potential difference between the power line and the ground is 14,400 volts. When Paul was working, the current could reach 10,000 amperes in case of contact. The sap in the branch conducts electricity. Paul has been sweating, so his skin is also damp, and his ladder is made of metal. Resistance to the current is low. The current traveled through the branch entered Paul's body through his hand and exited through his hip, then continued through the ladder to the ground. All of this happened in just a second. The outcome? A serious electric shock leading to burns, the amputation of one arm, and the loss of part of his liver, plus broken bones from falling off the ladder. Things could have been even worse if his saw had touched the line. Avoiding accidents is simple. Locate power lines before starting any work or activity involving heights. Stay at a safe distance and make sure nothing gets close to the lines. No tools, ladders, scaffolding, or kites. Nothing. Most electrical accidents happen when we're distracted or in a rush. To stay safe, be aware of the dangerous situations that pose a risk of electrical contact. Take a second to have a look at our site, hydroquebec.com safety. It could save your life or the lives of people you care about.